Right guys, we're going to show you something a little bit different today. Still retro. I say retro, this is from 1995. Um, it's obviously when I must have bought it, I guess. I mean, this is the earliest mobile phone I actually have in my hand. Um, before this, I had a Motorola Flip. Um, and before that, I had something called the... Uh, it was... I don't know the model number, it was a Sony Mars bar. It had like a little flip on the top and it was uh, analogue. Um, I had the flip for about a year and that was digital but this was me I had this for a long time this one this was a really good phone I mean never missed a beat but this is also digital so this was like the beginning of the digital era I suppose uh, with GSM but anyway while I was sorting the CBs I actually come across this and I do remember it um, like I say it's uh, I'm thinking me third. I'm sure it was my third phone anyway. Um, I only ever had one analog phone, like I say, Sony Mars bar. Um, but this here, I had two batteries for this. I had one which is a bit smaller than this one here. I mean, I have no idea if this still works. Obviously, it won't charge. I know for a fact it won't. But yeah, anyway, that's the. I'll show you this. There we go. It's a Motorola Flare from 1995, and obviously, it was digital, one of the first digital type phones the full size sim. I've got the sim half poked out here because what a chew to get out this there. Uh, um, I mean normally you'd like you'd fiddle them through there but it wouldn't yeah, it's coming out there now it's actually loose enough but normally like I say you'll just use that uh, switch at the side to slide it down. It's, it was stuck actually it's actually come loose now looks so like I can get it out. But there's the sim card it's from Vodafone that's me. I know that for a fact that's my first ever digital sim card from all them years ago because I use this on both phones so. crazy yeah? yeah look at that but uh, yeah that's the um, I mean this is a bit of a weird one isn't this batteries disintegrated inside I took this off just have a quick check and you can see the terminals are shot you know it's leaked like mad um, yeah it's not good to be honest um, ah, it's, not, it's, yeah, it's, it's a Motorola, it's a flare, but everyone knows it's a flare, but it was a Type 6200. Uh, you want to have a look at that? It was a very basic form, wasn't it? But I suppose in its day it was the business. And um, yeah, 1200 milliamp hour battery. I don't know what size you originally had on these, like, but this is all I've got left of this. I have no idea if I've got the power supply. If I come across it, obviously, I might do something else with it, but I might try and even get it going. Um, I suppose I could use a, um, a bench supply. I've got a bench supply somewhere. I've had it out for years, but I suppose I could try it with that, just to see if it'll fire up. I mean, that's well. I suppose this could, if it fired up, you could still use this, couldn't you? I think. Um, just by using a SIM card, the whole size card, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Antenna look. These are the business. But yeah, 95. Whether I bought it in 95, I don't know. It'll be around that era, 95, 96-ish, you know. And, uh, yeah. I think, you know, I think it was about a pound a minute then, do you remember it? I know my mate, Kev, he had one, he had a big one. He said, oh, I'll try it for the night. Anyway, I tried, he was a taxi driver. It was one pound fifty a minute. Um, £1.50 a minute, and he, I remember he said, have you used it much? I said, I had a couple of minutes on it. He said, oh, it's all right, and I thought, shit. <laughs> it was a big thing he had, you know, it was like a, I can't remember, it was just big anyway, it was a clumsy thing with a, like a CB, yeah, mic lead coming off it, you know, big thing. Um, yeah, I don't know if he'll ever, I don't even know where he's gone him, Kev, now anyway, I've never seen him for years. But uh, you never know, he might uh, pick up on this somewhere along the line. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd just pop this in into the mix. Um, is 95 Flasses Retro? I'd say, would you? Definitely, anyway. No, I want to stick with that. I think anything before the Millennium is Retro now, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's an old thing. And I want to try and get this going as well. I've got a lot to do, haven't I? Yeah, I shouldn't really be involving myself with all this crap, really. But uh, I'm in for it now, aren't I? But, yeah, I'm just looking at them terminals there. They have corroded a bit, but they're not. I'll probably get uh, something on them to see if I can fire it up. Um, like I say, it's um, 
I'm not too sure what. Let's have a look. Is that six full? I can't really read it. I think it's six full. I'm not too sure anyway. I'll find out. I'll do a bit of research on it. It's the weight has half come off that, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously, that's not original battery. I remember buying that, like, I remember that was a great battery, that. It lasted forever in the day. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> shot. <laughs> it's been up there bloody years. But uh, yeah, anyway, on that note, guys, I'll leave it. Um, I just thought I'd just show you anyway. It's just, maybe it's a bit of interest to someone, you know. Um, so a, th a thumbs up, wouldn't go miss, and a subscribe. You never know, I might find other bits like this. I mean, I've got a lot to go through. Star Wars, Star Trek gear. Oh my God, me trucks, me model trucks and stuff. God. They're all from like the 80s and stuff. So hang in there, guys, because I'm finding all sorts of crap here. Um, this is probably as crap, isn't it, now? But now I've found it. I want to do some with it. I don't want to even put it on the wall over here, you know, and keep it on there. Just like a... Apart from just keep the channel. You know, what do you think? You reckon? Do something with it. I mean, I suppose I could make it so it powers up and just leave it in a bit of ambience in the background. You know, run some cables to it or some of that to keep it tidy. Because yeah, round here, I'm going to sort this out eventually. Sort this. It's a bit of a shit all here, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'm quite happy where I am in at the moment. Here. It seems alright, you know, I've got a bit of room for myself. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, some memories in that. <laughs> yeah, probably more than the biggest memory in this is probably watching how much you spent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hello, yeah, goodbye. Like that, straight away, you know what I mean? You didn't ask about, did you? You know what I mean? It was a quick call, you're talking seconds. You know what I mean? Straight off, straight on, straight off, boom, that was it. But yeah, it was uh, fright frighteningly expensive then. You don't you don't realise now, do you? What you get for your money, you know, you did and unlimited minutes even though we hardly talk on phones anymore do we uh, if we hardly talk I mean even text now is a bit defunct isn't it no one even bothers with that now it's all social media and all this type of stuff in there but anyway I'll stop waffling on again because eh? uh, yeah I'm looking forward to going live by the way I think I've said to you this a couple of times haven't I because when I go live I want to run it across all platforms so people coming in and out I mean I might be sat in here for an hour and a half talking a lot of crap I don't know I might pick a magazine up talk about 80s BMX and all whatever I did years ago or whatever anyone else did years ago or famous people from that time I don't know I just want to get talking sometimes I, can't, I, won't, I don't shut up whether you like that or not is another thing I don't know but if I go live then you can come in and out as much as you want but anyway that's me finished I want to go, so I want to love you and leave you. Thumbs up and subscribe, it must much appreciated. I don't know what to do about the thumbs down with that, so I want to leave it today. I want to give you a thumbs down, miss. <laughs> so if you want to put a thumbs down, you can do it without without uh, any repercussions. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks a lot for viewing, and we'll catch you later.